Greetings and salutations. I am your humble Adobe instructor, AJ Wood, and we're talking Photoshop CS5. Today's tutorial is brought to you by MediaCats, your leading source for instructor led training. We're going to take a look at the Content Aware Fill feature. That's right, the one that everyone seems to be talking about. Let's go ahead and jump right in. You can see in front of you I have an image I shot at the Grand Canyon, and what I really like about it is the rock texture. But what I don't like is the stuffed animal. So Joe has got to go. I'm going to go ahead and make a quick selection using the lasso tool. In fact, it's so fast it just instantly pops up. And what I'll do is use the new fill feature. So I'll do shift delete, which would be shift backspace on a PC. And that's the keyboard shortcut that brings up the fill dialog. You can see in front of you, it has a new option, content aware. I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And it's going to crunch through that. And you'll see, Joe, he's gone. That's pretty awesome. But it gets better. What I want to do is talk about using content aware in my workflow. So what I'd like to do is use this texture, but it's too small. So I'm going to expand the canvas by using the crop tool. And I can quickly just make the canvas bigger, make the scene bigger by using the crop tool. Now typically when you do this, when you go ahead and cut the crop, you're going to get some sort of uh, fill color. In this case, I got black. Well, I can use the wand tool, and I'll go ahead and select the black. And once again, I'm going to use fill command with content aware. So I'll do shift delete or shift backspace on the PC. I'm going to choose the content aware option, click OK. And it's worth noting that your image might be larger, so it might take a while for content aware to figure out what's going on and actually crunch through the picture. Let's take a look at ours. You can see it took but a moment. And that's pretty amazing. I've got an awesome texture that I can use in future images. But you can also use this to expand existing scenes. Right? Here I have another scene that I actually shot at the Grand Canyon. Once again, I'm going to expand the canvas, but this time I want to create more scene. Right? So I'm going to use my crop tool once again to make this a little larger. And I'll use the wand to fill or pick up the dead space. And once again, I'll fill it with content aware by doing shift delete or shift backspace. You can see the content aware option is there. I'll go ahead and click OK. It takes a second to fill it out. Let's give it a few seconds and there you have it. I'll deselect. That's pretty awesome, you gotta admit. All right. Last thing I'm gonna show you here is an addition. Uh, content aware fill has also been added to the spot healing brush. So if you grab the spot healing brush, you can actually paint out of the scene things that you don't want, things that you want to remove. So sometimes you just want to remove tourists from a photo because maybe you're going to use it on iStock. So we'll just paint them out. Takes a second. I'm going to go ahead and let Content Aware fill it. And wow, that's pretty crazy. So I'm AJ Wood. This has been a quick tutorial. Photoshop CS5 Content Aware Fill. Thanks for joining me and I'll catch you around next time.